What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the other side of the Firewall Podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest in cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass selling breakers, those people of color who made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams. As always, I'm joined by Shan Times. What's up? What's up? What's going on? So uh, action packed week. So definitely go ahead and check out uh, Monday. We talk about the MGM and Caesar uh, breach and uh, what's currently happening with that, right? Uh, the oceans level breach that's uh, that's happening out there. Um, Tuesday, we discuss uh, the Chinese uh, uh, cyber attack or breach that uh, affected several different departments of the uh, the government and how a a lone analyst, or it could have been a team, but they, they, they're they saying a lone analyst was able to uh, perceive this as being a problem in the future and set up uh, uh, some kind of tripwire in order to uh, to catch this type of activity. And they did, and they were able to report it to the rest of the world uh, via Microsoft to get it fixed. Uh, on Wednesday, we have a discussion uh, that goes over Penn State and how they're uh, currently being uh, sued by the federal government uh, due to their, uh, I, I guess, lack of due diligence or pencil whipping of their reports uh, and uh, self-attestation. So they were one of the first to be to be hit with uh, a said lawsuit, and it's because they were not act- actually providing uh, credible evidence for their uh, their NIST. Uh, or or whatever was being evaluated. So I think it was like NIST 171. Uh, and then they talk about FedRAMP as well. So definitely check that out uh, to see how they fall under certain guidelines and rules. And they, for whatever reason, they weren't following them. So now the, the government's involved. Uh, and then Thursday should be Ask SSP. I'm not exactly sure if it'll be Ask SSP or a throwback. Uh, I do have one uh, scheduled, but I'm not sure when it'll air, right? But if you have not done so already, please go back to last Thursday's episode where I talked to Kane McGladry. He is the field CISO for Hyperproof. Uh, really good discussion. So we talk about uh, AI, we talk about ethics, we talk about uh, diversity of thought and culture, we talk about uh, him growing up in uh, Washington, snowboarding, all that good stuff. I, I put the yak in Yakima, that was also up, up for discussion. <laughs> so really good interview, definitely check it out, entertaining and educational. Uh, but without further ado, Shannon, how was your week? Man, it was a good week. Um, did, uh, didn't did do a lot of media watching. Um football games uh so to give a little insight so like we're recording on sunday right now but uh yesterday colorado uh had a nail biter against i fell asleep i i couldn't make it either look i could 10 o'clock yeah my (laughs) my days yeah for you it's 10 o'clock i'm two hours behind and even for me like i always have early mornings right so um i had to drop off my sister-in-law to the airport and i went to the gym so i was tired um (laughs) <laughs> not throwing that out there to be like oh yeah you know i'm getting uh, I'm, as a, that sound like a backdoor brag but that wasn't it but right <laughs> <laughs> but um so i was tired so at halftime i was just like man I, I can't make it you know what i mean so i was like i'll see what happens but at halftime they were down like it seemed like colorado wasn't gonna pull it out but like colorado colorado football right now is a huge story right because right. Like, everybody doubted prime you know what i mean dion has been successful at uh, like everything he's done that has been public anyway right yeah. so he's just been getting doubted and like there was a little bit of controversy with this one but uh they ended up pulling it out yeah yeah because yeah, i because i saw the pregame uh scrap that they okay, had and, yeah. and then they had another one didn't they so throughout the game they were getting chippy like, yeah very chippy and like I, I had i had a couple co-workers i was texting with i was like this is gonna get out of hand before it's all said and done yeah because because i saw the uh the unnecessary roughness was the last oh, thing i saw man yeah yeah so, where he, he got popped what is it uh is it travis hunter is that his travis name hunter, yep. yeah he got popped on the sideline and then i was about to start Way to late. brawl Way yeah late. Like it was, it was not like, oh, it was a bang, bang type thing. Like it was that ball had hit the ground already on an incomplete pass. Yeah. Got popped. And I was just like, did he he ever come back? I don't think he came back in the game. He did come back in the game, but he went to the, I think he went to the hospital before the game ended. I thought I read this morning. Oh, okay. Gotcha. But uh, they ended up pulling it out. So good for them. But uh, they got, they got a true test, a real test next week in Oregon. So we'll see how that works out for them. But um, right, right. Even even if they don't like, cause just just coming from where they came from, right? Like, cause yeah. everybody's like, like they're not gonna have an undefeated season. Like, maybe like, yeah. who who's to say? But I doubt it. I, I highly doubt it. But just already, right? Being three and zero, and and getting those kids to play the the way that they're playing, or I should say, young men, right? They're not kids anymore. But um, like, I, I think he's already set the uh the the tone, right? So like, you're gonna have a bunch of haters as soon as he loses his first game. They're like, oh, I knew it. But he came out three and zero. 
like <laughs> off the rip. Like, he's already done everything he needs to do for the season, and then it'll continue to grow from there, right? Um, but I, I think I, th I think I saw him throw a pick six as well before I went to sleep. So did that happen? Or no, they they fumbled one for a touchdown. Okay. Uh, Colorado, Colorado fumbled one for a touchdown, but they the Colorado State threw a pick six. Like uh, Deion's son, Shiloh, <laughs> ran yeah. it back, you know what I mean? Oh, that. okay. So, yeah, so I, I did not see that then. But, yeah, because uh, I went to sleep, and they were down. I woke up, you know, did whatever I need to do, and I was like, I, I wonder how, how bad that game was, right? And I, I looked, and I saw they pulled it through. I was like, oh, he would not be able to, uh, to tell me anything. <laughs> Head would be this big. Like, you see what I did to you? Yeah, look, like, look, look at what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, no, no, that's good. It was it it was uh, not not a lot of media watching. I saw uh, I saw I know I know you're happy about this, but Aaron Rodgers went down with an injury for the Jets, right? I know you don't mind that. Vince, how yeah, so so I, I I I feel for him. Like he he played like seven. Like I feel for Jets fans uh, when it happened, and then they beat us, and I was very upset. <laughs> My but team. You, but you got to play you got to play him again without Aaron Rodgers because he's gone for the season, right? Like you're gonna see him again. Right. Yeah, and, yeah, but we should have won that game. There's no reason that we should have threw that game away. Like, I, I don't, I, I hate to see anybody get injured. Right. Like, as soon as he went down, I was like, "Yep, he's done for the season." Uh, but, and then their other QB came in, and he just had to just toe the line. Right. Like we we threw the game away. Like the, the just just yeah, just defense is 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 uh is pretty good, but our our line would not hold. And Josh Allen just just slinging it for no reason. He was, he was playing uh, the game like I play Madden. Like he was just throwing it down the field, not even looking. So it is what it is. Hopefully, like, because we play the Raiders today, I want to say at 1 o'clock, hopefully it is a better game. But that that was not a good opener. It, it was not. It was not. But again, they're in the division. When you see him again, y'all can, can give it to Zach Wilson. I got to – the thing is, Josh Allen, I don't think he's going to do that again for the rest of the year. Like that, like he he can usually have one game a year that's like that. I think he got it out of the way early. He got out of the system. Like, it's better yeah, better now it. than close to the playoffs, right? <laughs> right, right. Do it now where the implications are a lot less of you missing the playoffs, right, or not or yeah. not seeding in the playoffs like you want to. But I don't I don't think he'll do that again. Um, honestly, like if he does, then I'll be like, all right, he's throwing games. Like he put money on the other team. <laughs> right. right, right. But our line was not. It was not doing them any favors, right? Like that ball had to come out quick, but he's just bad reads. Like, and as because <laughs> I'm like, I'm like RJ now, right? Like, I'm watching him throw the ball. I'm like, that's bad. That's a bad throw. <laughs> like, quarter quarterback, what is it? Uh, couch quarterbacking. I was out here, I was like, mm, don't throw that one. Mm, nah, that's not good. <laughs> Arm, armchair quarterback. There it is, armchair quarterbacking. Yeah, I was like, mm, that's not a good pass. Uh, running, running on two and 15, mm, not a good idea. Like stuff like that, right? Like I, I don't know. I, I don't know. We all do it, Ryan. Like we all do it. Like <laughs> when our when our team does something like that, you'd be like, I would have never done that if I was in that. Right, team. right. But had he broken, you know, yeah. ran for twenty, I'd be like, that was brilliant. <laughs> That's a great, great play call. This is why. Yeah. Right. <laughs> always, hindsight's twenty twenty, right? That's how it always. Right, goes. right, right. So we but, will uh, see. We'll see what the future holds. But yeah, I feel better against the the Raiders, but I felt great against the Jets. So it's like. Mm. <laughs> We'll see. What about them Ravens, though? I mean, we won last week. We've got to play Cincinnati this week, and we got a lot of injuries, man. we got to play Cincinnati today, which I, I, I'll i keep it clean for the podcast, but <laughs> F, F Joe Burrow, right? Like, uh, And here's, here's my thing with him. Like, I didn't have – like, yes, Cincinnati is a division rival, but not one that I'm just like, ah, you know, we have a big thing. Like, Steelers right. are a big rival, you know what I mean? But, like, two years ago, when he threw for that 500 yards or whatever it was against guys like we had so many injuries that year, like our whole backfield was it on injured reserve before the season started. And as the season yeah. went on, it was just a bad run. Like our cornerbacks safeties were getting hurt. So he threw for like 500 against guys we had picked up on Tuesday. Like you <laughs> for 500 against a Pepsi truck driver, you know, <laughs> like on Sunday and you in here smoking a cigar, like you did something. So every time after that, I'm like, yo, Joe Burrow is, you know, I hope we smash him. You know what I mean? Gotcha. I don't, I don't yeah, want anybody's yeah. career to get in, be in jeopardy, right? But I want him to fear us. I want him to see ghosts like, like oh, Arnold did a few years ago. Right. Right? I want him <laughs> to see ghosts. 
So like I I don't know. I we play them today, but we got a lot of injuries. You got injuries along the offensive line in the secondary. Like it's gonna hurt a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, we we're not at full strength, but if they look like they did last week, um, Cincinnati, I think we can make it happen. When Cleveland be okay, that might have been one of the few times I rooted for Cleveland because they're also a division rival. Like so, I hit up right. I hit up one of my friends, uh, somebody we used to work with at the NAS, right? Um, I hit him up and was like, hey, man, I appreciate it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Your Browns, your Browns fan, like, hey, I, I like I like what y'all did there. You know what I mean? Right, right. But, uh, yeah, it, it was it was, uh, it was a, it was a good thing. But uh, we'll see this week. Like I said, um, I need to see if that one's televised here or not. Like, I don't have Sunday ticket or anything like that. Like, I, I love my team, but not enough to spend four hundred dollars on them. Man, it just keeps going up. Like it's gonna be a G in a couple of years. I like, know thousand dollars to watch oh. football. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is, but this is why they make money every year, right? Like every year, the NFL's made more and more money. You know, what yeah, I mean? so, yeah. Um, minus the COVID times, right? Nobody's in the stands and games aren't planned, but like, right. still, um, yeah, it, it's it's we'll see we'll see what happens though. If they if they lose, I might have to hear it because I've been very vocal at work, like yo f Joe Burrow, you know, right, right. <laughs> like, <laughs> I call them like uh, are they calling them Joe Exotic now or something like that, or Tiger King or like there's some connection where the the actual Joe Exotic reached out and was like, hey, can you give me some money? <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard that. Yeah, they call them something like that. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Well, well it's, it could be because he went to LSU, so LSU was Tigers, right? That's their that's their their mask oh, okay so Maybe. right yeah so they yeah. pull it pulling from that yeah. uh i don't know like i i have i i have a a a, a huge Bengals fan on uh, i follow him on twitter uh and they are insufferable right now so i'm <laughs> they're not in, in no way our rivals uh what whatsoever but you know we, we see them uh every other season but i I'm not. I'm not looking for them to, to be successful this season. Like you're, you're getting on my nerves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, stop with this nonsense. You know what I mean? Right. Like, right. Well, we'll but, see. Yeah, for sure. We, we'll definitely see. Um, but I mean, Sunday's football day, right? Like, I'll sit here, watch some games, take a nap. Like, it just. I think the week just catches up with me, and I get a little nap on Sunday. Like, it's yeah. it's like clockwork. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, but, but uh. Yeah, but other than that, um, ran some errands yesterday. Uh, went out with the family. Uh, went and got some Halloween costumes for the kids. Okay, uh, the younger two, anyway. Um, uh, you know, you know how it is with them. Like, oh, I want this. I want this. I want this. Like, I have to tell my right. my youngest son. I have to tell him, go and look around because the first thing he sees, he's like, I want that. I was like, go look around and make sure that's all you want. Yeah. That's, why, that's why you can't keep any of your 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 chore money, you know what I mean? Because you spend it as soon as you get it. And then we go right. out. He's like, "Can I get this?" I'd be like, "Do you have the money?" <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like, "No, I don't think so." I'm like, yeah, because you keep spending it as soon as you get it, man. Like, you are going to be a problem, son. Like, you're going to get a job and not be able to pay your bills. <laughs> you know? What I mean? Hey, I I knew I knew a guy like we worked with at at the NAS. Like his his whole thing. Like he he was really good with money. Um. But he set up an Amazon wish list, right? So he's a single dude, he got, you know, his, his bills are paid or whatever. And then, yeah, he just set up the wish list. And then when the money hit the account, he'd be like, all right, number one, this, this for this pay period, buy it, all right? Like, so it might be like that. <laughs> I don't know. I, he just, he needs to be better at it. Like, even, even yesterday, my wife, uh, I don't want to say she caved, but like he bought some stuff on credit. She was like, "All right, I hold these but Ooh, IOUs." You, you're gonna, you, <laughs> but, but she's holding them until he works it off, right? So oh, okay, gotcha. Whatever chores, right? Like whatever she needs him to do, um, which I'm fine with because then she won't ask me to do it, so I'm okay with that. Right? So there you go. There you go. Like okay, then you can get these. You know what I mean? But yeah, I did some of that. Um, uh, that was kind of the fun part of it, right? We, we and whenever we go out on the weekends, right? Like we kind of make a day of it, like do some lunch, run the errands, you know what I mean? Which after a little while, you know, I don't always enjoy them either. But the younger two are just kind of like, are we done yet? Like, no, we're not. Like, right? You, you had your fun, right? I get you had your you had your meal, you had your dessert. Like you were so happy when you were eating your ice cream. Now, <laughs> can we? Can I go get stuff we need for the house? You know what I mean? Like I gotta right. like I'm I'm running the lows to fix, you know something in your bathroom you know what i'm saying so it's like come on now but as kids though right like they're young right. they're, they're five and ten so you know to let them tell it it's like uh it's like back in the day when when the sun revolved around uh the earth right like that's how they are like everything revolves around us why are we doing all of this like oh gosh come on now um but 
other than that, nothing, nothing much going on, man. I need, I need to get back on horizon and finish that game, man. Like I'm, I'm close to the end. Like I sense it, you know, gotcha. what I mean? like 70, 76% through the main story or something like that. And I've done all the side stuff I think I want to do. So it's just a matter of just main, doing the main story because you know, come October, October 20th, I think it is, is when Spider-Man drops. Yeah, it's either the 20th or the 22nd. I think it's the 20th. Yeah. Something like that. Like I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm not even thinking about that game. <laughs> like, right, I'm right. Spider Man. So like, so yeah. I, I've been, I've been sending videos. Like, it's more like they just had a hands on uh event for for press. They're showing more of the game. I was like, I don't want to spoil anything for them, but they're not really showing much. It just looks so good. Like it's like the quality. Like uh, Insomniac games are always always pretty, but like this one, like looks like I don't know, like just like a, a CGI like uh, movie. That that twelve minute trailer or fourteen minute, however long yep. it was, like when they showed that one, I was like, oh, because it was gameplay, like yep. there was gameplay in that trailer. I was like, yo, because you know, usually when they when they show that stuff out there, they'll have that in fine print. Some of this, uh, was yeah, it, yeah, not not actual gameplay or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I'm like, oh, that looks real good though. You know what I mean? But look, this was gameplay, and I was just like, yeah, I'm 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 getting this. Like, why have you not? Why have you not taken my money already? Like, where do I give it to you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the fidelity is is super high, um, and they show a little bit of like switching between the characters. Like, yeah. there's certain story elements where you have to play as one or the other, but uh, it's kind of like GTA Five in that if you're just in the free like open world, you could flip between the two of them. Uh, and they said there's instances where you'll jump to a character who will already be engaged in something, right? Like, so Miles already be like stopping a bank robbery or whatever like you just jump right into that but he said other times you run into the other spider-man right so you'll be doing something and like peter will swing in help you out and then swing out of there oh, oh, so it's more like organic so i was like that. oh this is gonna be this is gonna be great uh and it's double the size right so they, queens is in there now so uh it's queens oh yeah that's right yeah that's so like they, they've, they've opened it up right yeah so you'll like even though spider-man could go in either one of these, like your your Spider Man belongs to a certain you know area or whatever. So if you go to the other one, you run into the other Spider Man. So is it Manhattan in Queens? It's Manhattan, right? Yeah, I think it's Manhattan in Queens. Yeah. 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 Okay. So so yeah, it it looks uh, amazing. So yeah, I can't wait to play that as well. Um, and that's right around the corner. So that'll be my 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 fall game. I didn't really get into um uh what's call it starfield as much as i want to at some point i have to circle back around to that because I, I know there's some some good game there um but uh it's between that and it's i'm playing uh my switch a little bit more i'm playing a game called Catherine. uh it's the the full body version of the of the game like the game's been released several times but this is the the most complete version of it it was like 12 bucks right like switch rarely has sales and i've been meaning to play this for a while now it's a uh, like in an rpg type uh puzzle game uh with like lots of anime cutscenes and stuff like that like it has a whole story right uh enjoying it so i've been playing that um why catherine that's the name of the character right so like uh atlas makes games like persona i don't know if you're her persona games but they, they make games with like uh like really good story so it's called catherine like you you play as oh man what's the guy's name i forget like because i'm on the spot but your character is kind of like uh, in his either his late twenties or early thirties. Uh, he doesn't really have much going on with his career. He's not really progressing, right? He's still dating his girlfriend, is is Catherine with a K. Um, and the whole thing is like behind the scenes, there's something going on where guys are dying in their sleep, uh, and they think it's it, like they're trying to figure out like is it like some kind of like disease going around or, or like the rumor is it's cheat, cheating men. So what happens is he goes to the bar with his friends or whatever. He has too many drinks. He wakes up, and uh, there's uh, uh, another girl in his in his bed. Right, looks totally different. Like his his girl is a, a brunette. Like this is a blonde. Her name is Catherine with a C. And then later on, you meet another Catherine, and like you don't know if this is really happening to him because he always wakes up around this person. He never he he's he's never like like outwardly cheating where you see it. So you don't know if, like right now I'm thinking like she's not a real person. I think she's like a demon or something <laughs> who's trying to get him to cheat and then kill him. Uh, but it's it's crazy. It's very very Japanese RPG uh, like. But yeah, like so now the other Catherine is with a Q, I want to say. <laughs> like, and that's the the addition to this version, right? Before it was only the two Catherine, and then this uh, they remade the game, like like remastered it, and they added another Catherine to it as well. So I'm trying to figure out how she fits into the uh, scenario. That doesn't seem very Nintendo like. 
Like, no, it's a yes. Yeah, cheating. Then you have to make decisions, right? Like, so they do polls after you do the um, the mini games, and in the polls they ask you questions that kind of like uh, are trying to sway you one way or the other. Like you're trying to try trying to make you pick one of the Catherines, uh, because then if he, I, I think if his gauge goes too far to the left and he gets to the the cheating side of the gauge, I think that's when uh, something bad will happen. So I try to keep him on the good side, right? Like try to make make good decisions. Some things they take out of your hand. Like like I said, like sometimes you just wake up and you're around her and you're like, where did she come from? And he's like, why can I never remember? Why can I never remember hooking up with you? Like he just can't figure it out. Like what is happening? So I, I think she's a demon or something like that, but we'll see. That sounds like it'd make a good movie, not a video. <laughs> like seriously, you know what I mean? Like sounds like it'd be a movie to, to make, but okay. Yeah, but it's it's pretty interesting, and they they have a uh uh it's called a free play mode or so what's it it's called free play or, or replay or I can't remember what it's called, but like if I'm if I'm on a puzzle section I get stuck I can ask for help and it'll play through it for me because I just really want to see the story. So uh, from time to time I'll get to part of the puzzle I'll be like I can't figure this out. Let's hit the the R one button and he'll start to do it for you to get you to the goal. So um so it's been expediting the process, right? Like I should be able to beat this in the next week or two. Um, most unlikely. I just play at night whenever I get get a chance. Uh, no Zelda, like uh, missing it. Want to jump back into it? It's just I when I get back into it, I have to mainline it. I can't keep just roaming around. Like I'm over 100 hours. I've done nothing. <laughs> Would enjoy myself. I have enjoyed myself, but I've not progressed the story. And there's actually a good story there, so I need to to finally beat the game. And they they've they have come out and said there will be no DLC. Uh, they they said the team's already working on the next Zelda, so I'm like okay. And that the Switch Two rumors are still circulating. And nobody like it's being more and more uh, cooperation, right? Like more and more people are saying like, yeah, this really did happen. This really does exist. They just did a, um, a Nintendo Direct, which we were hoping for information. Like Nintendo doesn't do that, so that nothing came out. But they have games slated until summer of 2024. So we're thinking that. They'll announce it either the fall or the spring, and it'll come out either the summer or the the fall. Most likely the fall of twenty twenty four, but the next switch, leading up to Christmas season type thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. Good. We're just we're just hopeful because the last one came out in March. Like the last switch came out in March, which was odd. But like, why if you don't have to? Right, if you come out during Christmas, like it's going to sell regardless. But Christmas season makes people a little bit more uh, uh, loose with their wallets, right? That's true. So, gotta, gotta, gotta appease those children, right? That think the world revolves around them. Uh, right. So, question for you. Question for you. I'm gonna, we go, we're gonna go into your wheelhouse here. This Apple event that just happened, right? Oh yeah. So I know they got other stuff. Like the only thing I'm really looking at is the iPhone, right? Like a lot of the rumored stuff that I that I was reading beforehand. And I, like I've never. I, I know this probably happens every year before they release it, right? But like now, I'm just I'm really in the market for another phone. Like I think I had a lemon I've been dealing with for like three years now. You're yeah, right, right. Your phone's been tore up since you got it. I I don't know. <laughs> I, I thought it was just Apple, which is why I wasn't liking it. But like you're you're one of a few people that are telling me, man, I think you got a lemon. My phone doesn't do that. <laughs> I'm like, okay, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's right. What it is, right, but um, I don't know. Like I saw the the iPhone 15 stuff, and I I don't. Like some of the stuff that's on there, it just seems, um, I don't know, not that impressive for me to put down the chunk. Right, of. right. It's it's more in- incremental, right? Like so, when it comes to speed, like the the, the chipset that they're putting into it is is pretty crazy uh, for a phone. Like, yeah, they're always uh, ahead of the curve. So like the the watches get a new chip, the phones get a new chip, um, and with that, like we don't have like the dynamic island. I don't believe. And and I like I don't have it in my phone. Like I, I have a twelve, I want to say. So like the dynamic island thing, I think is pretty cool. But that, that was already there in the fourteen, right? But but here's but here's my thing about that, right? So like the dynamic island, I don't get it, right? So like my coworker, that's an Apple person, like they were explaining it to me, and I was like, well, yeah. I that that it does some functions that I do on the twelve, because he's like, yeah, your music shows up in the dynamic island, you know what I mean? The set and the third. I was like, well, my music app just shows up. It's just in the bottom you know, part of my screen and I could still right. achieve things from that. So like, how is that? What is the benefit to that? Right. And, and if I'm being honest, like something they added to this one is the, the multifunction button or whatever it is. Yeah. The activity button, yep. activity or button. Action, action button or whatever. Action, yeah. yeah. I kind of like the switch that does the silent thing. Like that seems very easy to me to just, you know, So I, I, I've broken my switch before. Like when I had the eight, I broke it. So. Yeah. <laughs> 
But you said so, you were playing with it though. You said yeah, you're just, I'm just constantly, it. repeatedly yeah. doing it over and over again. And but I, I, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, no, I was gonna say yeah. I, I finally, finally snapped on silent, so my phone was silent from then on out. I so like I don't know. I kind of I kind of like that. Um, just to do that one click thing. Uh, but like this one, you can program right. Like apparently, yeah. things you can but, it, but I think that's only in the um the the pro. Pro Max, I think. Like only one of them is getting the 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 action, action switch or whatever the action button. So I'm I'm already on the Pro Max, so I need that size. I can't go back down. It's like my so the, TV. It's yeah, like my I was, TV. Gonna, I can't go I was down. gonna say yeah, like I I have the what is this? This is just the the Pro. I'm gonna say it has the the three uh, lenses, but it's fairly small. Like you see, my whole hand covers it, right? So I need a bigger phone as well. Ryan, I think any phone you get, your hands are gonna cover you. Like I've. I've <laughs> And you forget I've met you in person. I've seen that you can like palm my face. Like, like palm, palm basketball, right? No, <laughs> no, no athletic skill. Yeah. <laughs> Tall for no reason. <laughs> but, but but like no, I I don't I don't know, man. Like I some of the stuff was incremental. And I I can't remember it might have been you that sent me the the Apple thing. I don't I don't want to put this out there, but like the one with the guy that was celebrating for the USB C thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> I said that to you. Okay, I can't remember, but yeah, that that was kind of funny to me. I was like, yeah, USB C has been out since 2014. From other yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put that in there, yeah, because it was the same thing with copy and paste. Like, because yeah. <laughs> because I was an Android user for so long, I didn't jump on the iPhone until three. I want to say I had iPhone three, and then I waited until eight, and then I jumped from the eight to the twelve. So I don't, I, I wait generations for things to change, right? So like for this, for me, will be the the quickest jump. I've had between uh, uh, phones. So you do plan on getting it. So you plan on getting the 15. I do. I just need the size. Like it's, okay. I don't. It's not necessarily for the features because uh, I can live without a lot of the stuff that they got going on in there. I, I do need to upgrade my my watch. I think I, I think my watch is like a, a six or a seven or whatever. It's a couple generations behind as well. Um, so are you gonna do the ultra or are you just doing that? Because like, no, no, like I, it's just too big. Like, like I, big hands and small wrists, right? I'm walking around looking like a um, Kingdom Hearts character. You know what I'm talking about with the big feet, <laughs> the big hands. Like that watch is just the the ultra is just too big of a, a watch face. Uh, plus, I don't do all of the outdoor activities, right? Like I, I run. That's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, not, would, it wouldn't benefit you to do yeah, all that. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not hiking trails on a regular basis or nothing like that, right? Like last time I hiked a trail was when I went to Colorado, <laughs> like uh, almost a decade ago. Um, so yeah, I just don't see the benefits for the ultra for me. However, I do want so I I, I want all the products they, they they showed, right? Like, but I think I'm gonna stagger into it, right? Like I, I need a phone. I don't need a phone. I want a phone. Uh, cause I, I want a bigger size. Uh, so I might as well get the, you know, the ultra pro, uh, street fighter two championship turbo edition version of the iPhone. Right. Um, to get the size and I like taking pictures as well. So it'll have lots of capacity and it takes like, they're pretty, they're pretty much studio cameras now. Like I can see the next Marvel film being, being shot on the iPhone. <laughs> like this is how how crazy they're getting like it has like a uh, five times zoom or whatever like it's, it's ridiculous um so but then i also want the watch but i'll probably wait the, to get the watch because my watch functions it's just a little bit slower like i i it, either something's wrong with it or like uh, it's just so many generations behind it's just not snappy anymore um and then i want the pro headphones like i have the max that i use when i when i travel or whatever but when i work out I like the uh, the using my AirPods, but I'm one of those people where they don't fit in my ears. They just fall out. Like you put them in there and they just, whatever reason, like the ap Apple ear canal, uh, the way they shape it is is not the, the same as my ear canals. So I've always wanted the pro version. So I might as well get the pro C, you know, USB-C ones uh, when I do finally upgrade. And I've had these, I've had these I iPods since I think they're Gen, Gen 2. So like they've just been lasting way longer than they should have. So I've just been riding these until the wheels fall off. But uh, I, I literally cannot run with them in my ears because they just fall out. So I usually, if I'm running outside, I usually put them on like my Pro Maxes. And then like those things, are, like they trap in heat. <laughs> They're so big. So if you run three miles, right, you just drench and sweat. You got to take off the, you got to, because they're magnetically held in there in the cups. So you have to pop them off and let them dry out. It's kind of nasty. <laughs> But they're still, but they're still noise canceling too, right? So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, and like these are are adaptive, right? So I think that's pretty cool. Like so, when I do uh, lawn work, I'll put in my my uh, iPods and like you know Siri will talk to you if you get a message. And uh, but mine's don't noise noise cancel. Like the Max is noise cancel, so I got to put those on again. Super hot, but um, the my iPod uh, my what they, uh, yeah iPods my they they don't noise cancel because they're that they're that old. So I would get these new ones. I might as well get the USB C while I'm at it. So and then yeah, I don't I don't like how they're doing US, USB C 2.0 for anything that's not the the most expensive. I think that's, that's kind of that's kind of trash. Yeah, that was kind of weird too. I I thought I was like, why why the slow speeds, right? Like the slow tra transfer to force you up. That's this is what Apple does. Yeah. Like let's yeah. give you let's give you a uh, a nice phone, but like a gig of storage. So you have to get the next version, right? Like they just. We make we make these these other versions to to cause the latter effect, like not because we really want to sell them. We just want to we want to give you an option that's just a little inconvenient, so that way you upgrade to the next option. It's kind of like the the Apple strategy. Yeah, but you know, that, that that's made them a three trillion dollar company. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't knock the hustle. But yeah, I, I liked all of the things they showed. Um, but yeah, like there's more incremental. Like I, I think like if I sell my action button, it'll be a flashlight, right? That's probably what I would set it up to do. But I'm sure there's some cool things you could do with it because uh, it seems like you you can make anything the button. But I can't think of anything I want to do except for like make it silent and cut on my flashlight. So it's kind of kind of a waste on me. But uh, I like that the, the case is more sturdy because um, I drop my case all the time. Like, I, I'm really surprised I've not broken this thing. I drop it like on a daily basis. It just slips out of my hand. I, I you know, it's crazy is I, I I don't believe in jinxes. Right. But like, I think I jinxed myself. So like I was talking at work with the, with the guy I work with. And he was like, he was like, yeah, you could trade in your phone, do this, that, and the third. And I was like, yeah, I saw that, you know, I'm a Verizon customer. I was like, yeah, if I trade it in, mine's in really good condition, you know, like I have a case on it, but I have like, so I have the silicone case. I don't know if you can see this or not, but like yeah. the edges are like tearing off and whatnot. So the very next day after I had that conversation in the morning, I'm getting out of the car. I dropped the phone on one of the corners that doesn't have the silicone. Ah, uh, yeah. And I got a little, like a little nick on it. And I was like, Ugh. I was like, I'm not gonna get full value now. Yeah, <laughs> like, it, dropped, it dropped. It dropped by a thousand dollars. Look, I was like, <laughs> so like I was, I was like, I jinxed myself. Like it was just like, ah, oh, gosh, let me stop talking mess. But I need to get a case because, like, I'm thinking I'm gonna wait a little while. Like I wanted, I wanted to get out there in the wild, let people, you know, get it in their hands and be like, oh, yeah. it's good or it's not or whatever. Um. Because I want to say uh, the new iOS for it is dropping on Tuesday. I want to say iOS 17, I think drops on like the 19th, like, on, okay. the 18th, like before the actual release of the phone, which is the 22nd, I think. Yes. Right? When the actual yeah. release is, but the iOS is going to come out before that. So we'll see. We'll see what comes of it. But yeah, I don't know, man. I I do. I just think I need the phone. Like I, like stuff just closing on me for no reason. And yeah, like, you you have a lemon. Like you because yeah. from day one, you're like, hey, like, how do you deal with this? Like, this is trash. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like <laughs> <laughs> just the things you would explain. I'm like, no, my phone doesn't do that. Like I don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just I just thought it was me being a new Apple user. Like I just wasn't used to it. But like you're you're not the only one to tell me that I'm having these issues. So it's like, okay, I, I've come to the conclusion it is it is a lemon, but I'm still a little skeptical. I'm like, mm, I don't know. Right, right. Either that, or you you work in a magnet factory, like <laughs> like something. It could. I mean, that could be. I mean, I can't. I can't take it into work with me. You know what I mean. So it's not like anything right. happening in there is is doing it either. But um, it could be. I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe that mag safe safe technology is not as safe as they say it is. I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, it just maybe. doesn't make sense to me. Like if it's a magnet, right? Like that ruins electronics. Like why? What are we? I don't know. It's mag safe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means, but yeah. it's doing something. <laughs> but you saw my my case, right? So like, uh, th this one is the 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 official whatever. Like mm -hmm. I use the, I was using my Apple Card enough where I I got enough like Apple cash back or whatever where I bought the the uh, the case. But it's it's it might as well cause the bar of soap edition. Like it literally slips out my hand every day. <laughs> like it's I don't know. Like I don't know between my uh, the size of the phone and it being uh, the hard plastic. Like the thing just shoots out of my hand. So I had I had that one before I got the silicone one. I just didn't like the way it felt. Right. So like I was like ah, I don't I don't really like this, but I can't find it now because like I'm trying I'm gonna put that one back on because like when I go and look for the silicone ones like I got you know I got that raven purple on mine. You know what I mean. So I I right. know my phone when I see it. But um, 
like I can't find it now. And I'm like, what did I do with that? I was like, I didn't trade it in or anything like that. Cause I need, I need to get a new case. Um, and if I'm going to spend $50 just to replace it in like two weeks, I'm like, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? But, um, so I, I need to do that today. I might, I probably need to look around and be like, man, I looked at my nightstand. I was like, no, it's not in there. Looked in my, one of my other drawers It's becoming a junk drawer. It's where I put my keys and stuff like yeah. that. But I'm like, ah, like <laughs> what's going on here? But yeah, I need to find it so I can put that one on there. Because if I do drop it with that on there, at least I got some protection, right? Like if I had the other corner on that, it might crack all the way through. And then they'd be right, like, right. we'll give you $50 for this one for trade in. I'd be like, man, y'all were offering like 800 Like what's going right, on? Right, right, <laughs> exactly. It's it's a good it's a good case. Like I said, I drop it all the time like because it's so hard and rigid. But like I've hit myself in the foot with it before. It, it It's a beast. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and again, like, I think it makes it extra slippery. So I don't know. Cause I, cause I want to be able to see the phone, right. I want to cover the phone up, but I know I don't know. That, that was the thing. Cause I got, we got the same color. You got that Pacific blue or something like yes. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got the same color phone. Like I love that color. Like blue's my color. Right. But they didn't have a case that was the same color. So I was like, let me do the Ravens purple. At least I can see a little bit of that, that blue where the camera, you know, right. Is, but yeah. I, I Give me something clear to where I can see that, that nice color that I paid for, you know, but yeah. We'll see. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give it a few weeks, and then if people come out and say, "Oh, it's better than than what we thought," I'll be like, "All right, well, maybe maybe I just go ahead and jump in there." But the thing is, like, I buy phones outright. Like, I don't I don't do the whole you know financing through. Yeah. You know, because like when I see that phone bill get too high, like my bill's already high with Verizon. I'm just like, man, it's like the rent, right? It's too damn high. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So, uh, and I may, I may do the same thing, but I think I'm going to wait closer to Christmas. Like I'm going to make it that purchase because um, uh, nothing else is really coming out. So I can, I can, I can hold out. And like I said, the phone works perfectly fine. I'm just tired of dropping it and I would like a bigger screen, but like, I, I feel as though when I do get it, it's going to be like, it's going to feel too big. Right. It's more like a tablet in my hand, but uh, I'd rather have that than currently. Like, I think there's a smaller version. Like the SE might be a little bit smaller than this one, but I don't see how people could even function. Like my thumb like be like hurting <laughs> i'm trying to tap on the phone like it's just not it's not enough real estate so well i mean i don't i don't know if they have them out of like uh your t-mobile right like if you go yeah, I'm t-mobile or if you go to the store and see if they have it out already i don't know it might they might be waiting until the 22nd to like put it in people's hands but um you can go and just put it in your hand and be like all right yeah this will work you know what i mean right right yeah i might do that because there's one uh right there in the, the uh, little outdoor mall we got not too far away so i might, might test the waters there uh and i know um what is it target target also has the display like they always have an apple section as well so okay. between the two of those I'll, I'll probably run into it sooner or later yeah. um see if i like it but but yeah yeah i'm, I'm excited for the product like uh again i'm a big apple head right like uh, all these things are getting me to my apple vision pro or whatever they're gonna call it so, are you really gonna are you really gonna get it I want it. I doubt it though. It's, like it's the price 000. of a TV. Yeah, it's right price. Of, it's the price of a, of a expensive television, right? Uh, but it just looks amazing. <laughs> if but like for me, if I'm gonna spend that much, like I need to use it every day. Like as soon as I come home, like I, my wife, I don't even need her to kiss me. I'll be like, no, no, no. I gotta go. I gotta go through the headset. Like right, right. I gotta go with the virtual reality. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it 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 really is a Black Mirror, and I I can't wait to be there. This dystopic future. <laughs> I live through my headset. <laughs> it's right around the corner. We're, we're almost there, folks. Let's go. You're, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Do the, the the double tap with my with my finger. What is it like this? I can't wait. <laughs> Cannot wait. Pinch the corner screen. Drag it. Like it's it's gonna be amazing. But I I, I don't know how to justify that money. That's ridiculous. Like they're gonna have to have some some crazy apps. Like not just the Apple stuff. Like everybody's gonna have to switch their game up. They're they're gonna have to make it where uh early adopters like really sell this product um because at, at that price point right like because I'm, I'm sure over the years it'll get cheaper but apple doesn't really go down as the thing right like this this version i think that's why they call it pro so that way they can always keep it at 3600 like this will always be the pro version that costs this much obviously it'll get faster and smaller but i think they're gonna have cheaper ones right like we like we as a, i'm gonna get it right but like if people who are enthusiastic like me get it and can sell it right then they'll have the se version they'll have the you know whatever version uh down the pipe that's more affordable makes sense to people um so i think that's the future like down the line i think that's what they're going for 
but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. It's Apple, right? Like they might just sell like gangbusters, right? Everybody, everybody, there's people walking down the street with the with the headset on. <laughs> Hopefully it don't go the way of Google Glass where some people are like, I can't do this. Like I can't even right. have a conversation with this on without <laughs> without seeing stuff pop up all the time. You know? Right, right, exactly. Or creeping people out, right? Having like oh, always monitoring people. So I it, it'll definitely have to be a product that's in people's houses where they, they just use it when they're when they're in a facility or a house or an office because it's gonna weird people out. So but yeah, we'll see what the future holds. But I think that pretty much wraps it up for, for this episode. So again, uh, for those who are listening, uh, don't know why we're trending so high right now, but keep it up. Like, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share us with your friends. Uh, if you have not already, please go to YouTube and subscribe. Even if you don't watch us, right? Because you listen to us, like, just go ahead and give us a sub on that side as well. I like to, to double our numbers by uh, Christmas is, is the the wish, but we've uh, tripled our numbers on the on the stream. So, uh, whatever it is that you like, we'll keep doing it. You just have to let us know what that is because I don't know. I don't know what, what we changed <laughs> to, for the surge of traffic, but, but keep it up. Uh, hit us up by the websites that go by our name. You can hit me up personally. I'm at Rye Rye Security Guy. That's R-Y-R-Y Security Guy. I'm on LinkedIn, Clubhouse, Twitter, and Threads. Stay safe. Stay secure.